Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Access. In this session, we're going to look at creating a management form with interactive buttons to navigate around your database. So first of all, let's create a blank form. So create, form design, don't want any table attached to it. So what we're going to use is these controls and this is the command button that I'm going to select first of all to create my menu form, draw a button and then the wizard appears to help me select my actions. So first of all down the left hand side here you have categories and then actions for each of those categories. So the first one I'm going to do is open a form, so form operations is the one I'm going to select and then open a form and then when I go next it will show me all the forms that are available in this database. So form Table Consultants, that one. Next, open form to a specific record. That's the one I want, show all records. Now I could leave it like that or type in there, open consultant form or some other prompt for yourself. Next, this is not needed at the moment finish. There you go. I'm going to save this form as main menu and then click OK. Go into view, click the button and there you go. Now on this form obviously I need some mechanism to close it or, or return back to main menu. So if I go into design on this one and draw another button, this time I'll place this one at the top and then the form operations again but this time I'm just going to select close form and then next close next and follow the process through I save this form have a look close that form and back to the main menu now if I go back into design on main menu and I will create another button this time to run a report so report operations Report operations and preview report. You can see there I've got these other features there send to a file, email, or open. But I just want to preview this report. Next, there is only one report in this database, so that's the one. Next, and then again, you can put a label on there preview consultants. Consult Ants um, Projects. That'll do. Let me finish. Now, if I have a save that and have a look at that one, that will just give me a preview of the form of the report, which you can see is sitting there. Close that one down and then back into design again. So the process of doing this is quite simple really. Once you've got all your database objects um, completed, you can use this method to navigate through your database. Now under miscellaneous, you've got print table, run macro, run query. And if I click on run query and then go next. Again, I've only got one query in this database. So I'll just follow it through and I will leave it on run query for this example and next and finish so this one if I save that view click run query just displays the result of that query you don't have the option to put a button on this bit so you would just close that down so there you go if I just do one more um, form operations again in fact, I'll do application. So you can quit application. So this will do what it says on the tin, quit, which I will not be uh, clicking on because it will close access down. If I have a look at that, that will close access down. So I don't want to do that. But you can you can use that if you so wish. Now, if I just go on to form consultants for a moment, I might want to put another button on this one. If I go on to this one, just draw another button there and form operations you've got apply filter 
record operations, add new record, print, record navigation, find next, find record, and go to first record, go to last, etc. So I'll just do this find record, go next, leave it. Well, I'll leave it on the picture so you've got a pair of binoculars, and then go next, and then finish. So you now get a pair of binoculars there, which you can move if you don't want them sitting next to it. Not on top of that button. I'll just leave it, I'll leave it there. <coughs> That's because the controls are on. Just going to have a look at that. Click on the binoculars, and it comes up with the find and replace box. Obviously, you make this a lot tidier than I've done in this little process, so I'll just close that and I'll close this for I will save it and I'll close this one and then the next bit is to get this database to open up to that form, to main menu and you do that in the options file options and then current database and you basically say there, look, display form it's a none and then you select main menu so this is going to open up and come in, open the main menu. Click OK to that. Yeah, I'm going to close this database down now. Close that down and then open it up again. And it opens the main menu. Now, as you get more involved in Access, you can create automatic startups with macros and things like that, which we'll cover in later sessions. But for now, that's all that we need to do to create ourselves a, an automated management form. Now, you can create management forms like this one, which is a front end form. But this could also, instead of opening individual forms, it might open another management form that has buttons to do other things. Now, Access actually um, gives you some features in... Um, in form design, you can actually um, create a navigation form from, from the, the ribbon. So if I just close this one down for a second and show you this. So navigation form gives you different options. The process will be the same though. So if I go for the top one, which is the simplest one, you basically have um, the option to put buttons in there. If I go into design, you can see that you've got the ability to put um, open form, title that open form, closed form and stuff like that using this feature. But I personally um, would rather create my own navigation form. These are quite um, cosmetically pleasing to look at, but I um, always with access like to do things myself. So I will always create my navigation forms, but for people in a rush, there's nothing wrong with creating using these and creating your own your own forms. So that is the end of this module. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for your time and see you soon.